Yo, what up guys, it is your lad DJ Wacky and I am back with another FIFA 20 player review. And guys, yesterday evening EA had dropped in a new SBC for the Europa League team of the tournament, Manu El Haddadi. Now hopefully I pronounced that name correctly. And if you like myself, I was a bit sceptical because 82 rated card in December is quite low. But to be fair, if you look at the attribute details of Manu Al Haddadi over here, he's not too bad overall. I mean, 87 pace is quite decent. 83 shutters as well, which is really reliable. 81 and 84 on passing and dribbling, which is great green stats overall. Physicality is probably the area of concern because the aggression and strength is quite low. But if you think about the four-star weak, uh, the four-star skill moves he does have, along with the balance, agility, and composure, he's not too badly overall started. So I thought to myself, with an 83 builder that's just required. He will make a quite a decent addition to my La Liga team. So yesterday evening, guys, I managed to play uh, six games with him streaming live on Twitch. So here's some of the footages that I did gather up over here. And straight away, honestly, he was just fun to utilize. The high low work ratio that he does have means he does pretty much stay on the top side of the field. He's very reliable when it comes to creating some attacking opportunities. And because his strength is quite... Uh, low, he seems to tumble over himself quite often. Yes, this was a dirty foul, which ended up with my opponent again a red card. But other things that it can lead up to these sort of opportunities is when he does get pushed aside quite easily, he can give you a free kick or your uh, opponent getting book turn. But obviously, there's a con in that great agility work over here. But as soon as the ball gets touched, boom, he's lost it and he's nowhere to be seen. So that is one thing I would say watch out for him. It's not too much of a bad con if you did utilize a great dip dribbling work but you can create opportunities such as passing uh, along with the crosses check this out first time pretty much shot over here nice score from a difficult angle as well and these are the things that El Haddadi does actually work quite well with and I think it's one thing to keep an eye on the fact that he can score goals uh, a, a great yeah a great strength I would say really um, in the six games that I did play guys he scored six goals uh, one goal in each one of them games so oh, not too badly started along with one assist i think they, that's some quite nice opening for him he's really much a mediocre left winger i would compare him a lot to 84 felipe anderson from bpl i think he's just a nice nice matchup for that bit at the end of the day if you do look at the la liga squad you can't really get a decent left winger unless you spend some serious amount of coins and drop in either informed griezmann or uh, eden hazard um, and to be fair with around 20k, I would say you can get an 83 rated squad builder done. It's definitely worth going ahead and copying this fella, even if you're going to use him as a substitute because that pace is going to be utilized. That pass is quite nice. The fact that he's quite nippy, he's quite agile, all these can be really much contributed into the game. One thing I do say, he's a bit hesitant on shots. So when it comes like one on one with the keeper in, in like straightforward angles, he doesn't seem to have so much of a great uh, a shot angle with him. But when it comes into coming across on the left wing or a uh, right hand wing side and cutting in over there, that's when it gets utilized a bit more. That's when you can work it, it, the magic with him. And I, I, like I said, he is definitely worth the money. He's pretty much a bargain bucket on the marketplace. I would recommend going for him. And it, like I said, at the end of the day, you're not going to go wrong with him, uh, with him correct me if I'm wrong people this is not something I, I don't know uh, for certain but on FIFA 19 the team of the tournament card did get upgraded each time they advanced on um, for, to the next stage and Sevilla is on top of the group stage in Europa League at the moment so he might even become an 83 but like I said don't quote on me uh, don't quote on me on that just yet so anyway guys overall I'll give him a well-deserved 7 out of 10 stars. Yes, El Haddadi managed to fit in quite nicely on my team. There's a lot of pros over there. Decent all-round, smooth control, very accurate, nippy and quick, and great shot as well. But obviously, the cons that need to be mentioned, he's just not that aggressive enough, so you're going to have to be careful with that. Hesitates on shot, and like I said, it's a very standard left winger, but at the same time, he's a really much is a bargain bucket card and definitely worth copying on your team. Anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, then you can show some support by clicking that subscribe button. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. 
just before the new year's i'm hoping it turn i do get that 1000 subscribers and if you do want to support the video then hit that like button that would be massively appreciated people i know you've been commenting a lot more on my video and honestly i do try to get back in touch with everyone and just to obviously respond back but share your thoughts and community and let me know if there's anything else i can put forward i will be reviewing more players later on this week and as always stay tuned for more fifa 20 and other uh, video related contents anyway guys it has been your boy dj wacky and I'll see you all next time. Peace up. Group A, we got uh, Club Berg, 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 Berg. 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 Yeah. Berg. I, I don't know. It's a freaking Belgian. They've club. lost anyway.